Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope I'm not scaring you with this like split makeup face. Um, today I wanted to do a video on Korean makeup versus Western makeup. There are a lot of key differences and because I came back from Korea recently, I did pick up a few tips and tricks. And so I wanted to incorporate it in today's video. So if you guys want to see um, the difference, keep watching. Let's start off with Western primers. They are generally clear and add no color to the skin. Primers are used to create a smooth base and can help the foundation last longer. For Korean makeup, the skin is prepped with an illuminating primer to help brighten up the complexion and to create a glowy base. Moving on to foundations, for Western foundations, liquid and stick foundations are most popular. The foundation color is matched to the person's neck or sometimes slightly darker to create a more tanned complexion. This is usually blended into the skin using a beauty blender. For Korean style makeup, cushion foundations, BB creams and CC creams are most favorable. Most of them have a few added benefits like whitening, sun protection and anti-aging. Most Koreans prefer to have a fair complexion, therefore most brands only make about two to four shades of foundations. Concealers in both style of makeup have similar formulas, but the way it's applied is different. In Western, makeup concealer is used to cover up blemishes, dark circles, and also used on the skin to highlight the face. For Korean style makeup, concealers are used minimally over dark circles and blemishes. They usually like to spot conceal. When it comes to setting the base, it's popular to use the baking method in the Western style makeup. Whilst with the Korean style makeup, they don't really set the base as they prefer to keep the dewy glow on their skin. Next, we have eyebrows. For Western brows, most people prefer to use pencils or pomades to create a more defined arched shaped brow. Brow mascara is sometimes used to make the brows look thicker and concealer helps to highlight and create a more crisp shape. On the other hand, Korean brows are usually drawn on straight and thicker. This makes her face look more soft and youthful. Colored eyebrow mascara is used to lighten up the brow hairs. Moving on to eyes, Western eyeshadows use more matte and darker shades. Eyeshadows are usually layered on top of each other and blended together to create a smoky look. Eyeliner is then applied and angled upwards to create a nice cat eye look. Korean eye makeup is kept pretty natural. A light shimmery shade is applied all over the lid and on the lower lash line. Eyeliner is applied to the top lash line and extended downwards to create a more innocent look. They call this the puppy eyes. Next we have lashes. Western lashes are thick and more dramatic. They work well with dark shadows and can really make your eyes look bigger. A lot of mascara is also used on the lower lashes to balance out the look. Koreans tend to use more natural looking lashes. They are usually lightweight and very comfortable to wear as the bands are much softer than the Western style eyelashes. Mascara is also applied onto the lower lashes and sometimes even fake lower lashes are applied. Now let's move on to contouring. Contouring has been a huge trend in the Western world. It's used to make the face look more sculpted and defined. Cream or powder contour is commonly applied under the cheekbone, on the jawline, on the outer edge of the forehead, and the sides of nose, then blend it out to create a shadow effect, making the face look slimmer. Mm -hmm. 
Some Koreans have also incorporated contouring into their routine, but in a more natural way. They tend to use a lighter contouring shade around their nose and jawline to create a more V-shaped face. Next we have blush. Powder blushes are most popular for western makeup. It's applied on the apples of the cheeks and then blended outwards on top of the contouring shade. On the other hand, Korean like to use cushion blush. Most of them have moisturizing properties which give off a nice glow on the cheeks. Sometimes two colors are used to create a more youthful look. Next up is lips. Fuller looking lips is really popular with western style makeup and people tend to use liquid lipsticks as they're long wearing and easy to apply. Gradient lips are very popular with Korean style makeup. Lip tints are really popular because they have a nice shiny finish and generally two colors are used to create the gradient. A lighter tint is used all over the lip and a darker tint is used on the center of the lips. Finally, we have highlighters. This is a huge trend with Western makeup. Highlighter is applied to the high points of the face and used to make the skin look glowy and radiant. For Korean makeup, there's no need to add extra highlight on the skin as it's already dewy and glowy from all the other products. So there you go, there are the key differences with Korean makeup versus Western makeup. As you can tell, there's a huge difference. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know which side you prefer, do you like the Korean makeup or the Western makeup? I feel like my style i kind of combined both in a way and i kind of mix it up depending on how i feel but let me know which one is your favorite also if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out some of my previous videos and my k-pop transformation that was a big hit that people really like that one so check it out if you haven't already and i'll speak to you guys next time bye oh i look so scary